Hi guys, Jay here. We're back with another video and this time we're taking a look at the MyPhone brown tab tablet that we got for 50% off. But first, let's unbox it. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel, tap like if you like the video, thumbs down if you don't. Don't forget to click on the notification bell so you won't miss any of our future videos. We're trying to reach 1000 subscribers by the end of the year. We appreciate the help and support. Disclaimer: I am in no way affiliated with my phone. I am not sponsored by them. All my opinions are 100% my own. If you are interested in this deal, my phone promo is still ongoing until supplies last. Available on my phone stores near you. To see if it's worth it, watch until the end of the video. The deals just keep piling on for the second half of the year. First with the digital walker sale and now with my phone. This is the my phone brown tab 1 released last 2017 for 11,999 pesos. But now in 2019 it's 50% off. I got this from Market Market my phone at 5,999 pesos. So is it worth it? This is our unboxing and full review. Out of the box it feels and looks very premium. It does not look like a cheap tablet. I also like the deep brown, almost bronze color that it is giving. It looks really classy. The tablet display is a 7.9 inch IPS display at the 4x3 aspect ratio. This means when you watch a wide format movie, it will have some thick letterboxing on the top and bottom. However, watching standard 4x3 content like Neon Genesis Evangelion on Netflix you will be able to fill the whole screen unlike with a wider format phone or tablet. Speaking of Netflix, this tablet only has a WCDM of L3, meaning you can only watch at standard resolutions when watching through Netflix or Amazon videos. Can you see Joe Koi? Up close you can really see the jagged edges on him, however at normal angles if you're not a pixel peeper, I don't think this will bother you that much. It can also play 1080p 60fps videos on YouTube, no stutter or lag, and it is super crispy. 1080p HD videos run no problem as well. 
It also has a fingerprint scanner. It's pretty accurate on most occasions. It also has two bottom firing speakers which can get pretty loud. This tablet can also be used as a normal phone for phone calls and SMS. It has dual SIM card trays, one for nano SIM cards and the other a hybrid nano SIM micro SD tray that both supports LTE. Battery life is pretty good though Antutu reports that this tablet only has 1000 mAh of battery. I still get around 4 to 5 hours screen on time with LTE on. With LTE off, I think it can go longer. Standby time is also great but still nowhere near the iPad mini. This tablet is powered by the MediaTek 6797 and the Mali T8800 GPU. With 4GB of RAM and 32GB of internal memory, expandable up to 128GB. It's running on Android 7 Nougat with no updates in sight. On Antutu, this tablet got an average of 86,656. With everyday apps and normal day-to-day -day multitasking, everything is smooth and rarely to no hiccups at all. From texting to Facebook, reading manga, everything works smoothly thanks to its 4GB of RAM. The question in everyone's mind, can it game? Surprisingly, yes. With Mobile Legends, I was playing at low settings, high frame rates. And it is surprisingly smooth with very rare skipped frames. As you can see here with Auto Chess, one of my favorite games, it is a joy. Playing Auto Chess on a big screen like this is really nice. It is really smooth at the lower levels, but at around 20 to 30 rounds, it lags a bit when there's a lot of explosions and animations on screen. However, it is still very playable. With this next game, I am surprised that this tablet was able to play Honkai Impact. It was smooth with 3 to 4 enemies on screen at the same time with lots of particles shown on screen. Loading times were pretty long, but that is to be expected. And here we will try a very demanding game, Asphalt 9. Asphalt 9 ran pretty well, though the graphics look super pixelated and ugly. Just look at that car. Can you see the edges and the graphics of the effects? It's very ugly, but surprisingly very playable.
Aside from Mobile Legends, I see a lot of people in Jollibee playing this game. The next game is NBA. NBA ran super smooth and it was a joy to play. Last but not the least, it's PUBG. PUBG is also very playable at low settings. Since the screen is so big, it was really easy to get immersed in the game. Another question that I'd like to answer is, can it handle emulators? Drastic Emulator, the DS emulator, is so much fun with this tablet. Pairing it with an expandable memory, you can bring all of your ROMs with you all day, every day. So conclusion time, here are the 5 things that I hate about this tablet. Number 1, since it has a glass back, this tablet is a fingerprint magnet. Number 2, the brown apps suck. When you get this tablet, it comes with a lot, and I mean lots of bloatware. You can't even delete them, you can only disable. Number 3, Upon the setup of the tablet, you will get a mandatory sign-up sheet. What is this, my phone? I was lucky enough to have skipped this because of a notification that I received. Number 4. I got a defective screen on my first purchase. Make sure you check and test the item before purchasing. I usually buy the item sealed for our unboxing and sadly got a broken one. Luckily, my unit was still under the 7-day replacement policy and I got it exchanged. Number 5. It has an HD screen but only a WCDM of L3. How can I enjoy HD content on Netflix? With that said, here are 5 things that I like about this tablet. Number 1. 4x3 aspect ratio makes watching standard definition videos a joy and it gives a lot of space for documents and manga reading. Number 2. It has an HD IPS screen. Number 3. It comes with a micro USB to type C adapter out of the box. Very thoughtful my phone. Thank you very much. Number 4. It has a headphone jack and micro SD expandability of up to 128 gigabytes. This is great as this tablet will be a dedicated entertainment slash gaming tablet. Number 5. It only sells for 5,999 pesos. Of course, until supplies last. This tablet used to sell at 11,999 and it's now selling for 5999 I think at this price, this tablet is a steal. I'd never buy it at 11999 mainly because I can get better tablets at that price point. But at 5999 and you want a 7.9 inch tablet that can do a lot, then this is definitely a go. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you on the next one.